In this video, I'm going to be looking at rotational symmetry. So I'm using the same shapes as I did for the lines of symmetry, just, you know, it's easy. And for rotational symmetry, what we're going to be looking at is really thinking about, thinking about that toddler's game where you have the bricks, uh, the shaped bricks, and you're trying to manoeuvre them into their respective slots. So you're trying to get the triangular base shape through the triangle slot, you're trying to get the square shape into the square slot, and so on. And the concept is, um, however many ways I could fit that shape through the slot, is it the rotational order of the shape. So, if, for example, there were three ways to twist the shape round to go into the slot, then that shape would have order three. And for this, you will, or should have, access to a bit of tracing paper in the exam. And I'm going to be using a bit of laminated paper, okay? So hopefully this is going to work. So, to start off with, the circle. Now, for the circle, or for any shape really, using your tracing paper, trace around the shape, really as best you can, okay? And then, what you want to do is you want to try and press your pen or your finger into the middle of the page, into the middle of the shape, and then rotate the shape around, okay? Trying to get the centre as best you can. Now, for the circle, I can keep rotating it round very slight, um, very slight degrees, okay? Very small little changes. And so, the actually, the circle would be of order infinity. It has order of rotation infinity. There are an infinite number of ways that I can rotate that shape round and get it through the circular hole. Okay? So, let's just erase that. Uh, wish it was coming off a little bit better than that. Try it on the other side. Okay, now let's try the triangle. So the triangle, if I draw over the triangle shape, now it's finding the middle of the shape that's quite challenging. Okay, so first of all, I can see that it goes in that way, so that's one anyway. Then I could rotate the shape round, and then I can see that it's going to fit in that way as well. So that's two. Then I rotate it round, and I find that the shape can fit in that way as well, so that would be three. And then I get back to where I started. Now, it would be a good idea to put a little arrow onto your tracing paper so you can see exactly which way round was the initial move. But for the triangle, it would be three, for an equilateral triangle. Right, I'm just going to try and do this again, to try and rub this off, Let's see if I can do it a little better this time. We can have a go at the square. Right, okay. Let's have a go at the square. So for the square, draw around the shape. Find the centre of the square as best you can, and then go right. That well, that's one. Okay, going that way. Then I rotate round, and I find well that would be two. Then I rotate round, and that would be three. And then I rotate round, and that would be four. And then I get back to where I started, and so the square would have of order four. Let's have a look at the moon shape here. So, let's say that's my way around. Trace over the shape of the moon. Like so. Now, finding the middle of the shape is quite difficult with this one. But you can see that if you just simply try and rotate the shape round to anywhere else, there is no way that this shape is going to fit in except for that original way. And so this would only have or has no rotational symmetry, as it's called. Okay, you could say it has ordered rotation one, 
but we say that it has no rotational symmetry. And you'll find when you have a go at this that um, it follows much the same rules as the line of symmetry did with the fact that for a pentagon, for example, a regular pentagon, the number of ways that you can fit that shape into itself is actually five. It's a five-sided shape, it had five lines of symmetry, it has order of rotation five. And the hexagon will have order of rotation six. And the octagon will have order of rotation eight. The cross, well, that's going to have order of rotation four. You can see you, that you could manipulate this round and twist it round so that that goes to there. So one, two, then three, then four, and then back to where it started again. Okay, so use the tracing paper if it's there in the exam, because it's useful just to check, but in a lot of cases these rotational symmetry questions are quite straightforward.